Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. The show where people try to prove how smart they are by predicting how moronic others can be. Now I pounded the pavement looking for common Joes and Janes and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's best in show and who's Larry, Curly, or Moe. And speaking of them, let's meet them. Hello, Hillary. Hi. How cute is Hillary? And we got Big Marshall. Yeah. Big Marshall. Now remember, it's dog eat dog on street smarts. The winner hits pay dirt, the, le the loser leaves dirt poor. Now, Oh, now let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First, I went to Beantown, where I challenged Tracy to a little fisticuff. Tracy, I understand you play football and cut hair. I play football for Monada College. Oh, okay, and uh, what position do you play? Defensive tackle. Wow, very cool. If you could marry one celebrity, who would it be? One celebrity? Tina Turner. Oh. <laughs> my, my shoulder hurts just from his hand resting on it. If you think there was a fight between us, who would win? Uh, probably you. I went, Ed in Vegas re-reminded me why I could never run off to join the circus. Ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Circus Circus proudly presents the greatest, the biggest circus entertainment in the world. How long have you been a ringmaster? I've been a ringmaster for about 20 years now. Okay. Ree, where are you originally from? I'm originally from New York, Astoria, Long Island. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street Smarts. That's wonderful. <laughs> After a little tutoring, Monique helped me perfect the cowboy dance. I'm here in Minnesota at the Mall of America. I'm standing with Monique. What do you look to do after now that you've graduated high school? I want to be a child psychologist, but Work I love kids. drawing, so I want to do something with art. Yeah. <laughs> so Monique, show me the cowboy dance. <laughs> It's time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? We ask the same question to all three of our everyday Einsteins, and your goal is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess will earn you $100. Okay, guys, let's rock and roll. Here's the first question I asked to Tracy, Ree, and Monique. Who popularized the phrase, eat my shorts? Flip up your paddles, guys, and tell me who knew it. Flip it up there, Marshall, flip it up. There you go, buddy. Who knew it, guys? Tracy, Ree, or Monique? Okay, <laughs> Okay, and Hillary, go ahead. And you're in between there. I know. Okay, all right. Okay, you're locked in? You guys are locked in? All right, you both are going with Tracy. All right, before we see if we can get you any money, let's see what Monique had to say to this one. Who popularized the phrase, eat my shorts? Polly Shore. Polly Shore said it? Uh -huh. Do you like him, the weasel? Yeah, he's be like, eat my shorts, but I'm the weasel. Sad that I could do a Polly Shore that well. All right, you guys both think Tracy's the one who knew this. Marshall, Tr Tracy's gonna know this? Yes, he will. Okay, and, and Hillary, you believe so too? I think, yeah, I'm feeling, yeah. All right, let's take a look, 100 bucks for each of you. Who popularized the phrase, eat my shorts? Christopher Santiago. Who's that? <laughs> the friend of yours, isn't it? <laughs> Bart Simpson. There you go. He knew it. He said Bart Simpson. You both get 100 bucks. Way to go, guys. Marshall and Hillary both got 100 on that one. Yeah. All right, guys. Here's the next question. According to the saying, if you lie down with dogs, you get up with... All right, what do you guys think? Who knew that one? Tracy, Ree, or Monique? Uh, All right. You guys are locked in? All right, we got a Ray, we got a Ree and a Monique. Now, Marshall, you think Monique's going to know this one, huh? Yes. Why is that? Because it comes across as knowing a lot about um, popular sayings and adages. Mm-hmm. Let's find out. According to the saying, if you lie down with dogs, you get up with... A lot of hair on you. A lot of hair on you? Yeah. You lie down with dogs? No, I don't like dogs. Marshall, that's an incorrect answer. I'm sorry, buddy. She didn't know that one. Don't worry. All right, Hillary, you think Reno's? Yeah. All right, let's find out. According to the saying, if you lie down with dogs, you get up with... If you lie down with dogs, you get up with cats. You get up with cats. It's not so bad to wake up with a cat. Well, I prefer dogs, to be honest with you. I'm sorry, she also missed the question, Hillary. She blew that. The correct answer is fleas. Yeah. Tracy got that. All right, guys, here's the last question in the round. 
what two things are necessary for a rainbow to appear? Who knew that? Tracy, Ree, or Monique? Lock it in, guys. Who do you think knew that one? You both got 100 bucks. Let's see what you think here. Okay, and you're both locked in. You both think Ree. Marshall, you think Ree knows this, huh? Yes. She's going to get it. I hope so. Okay, all right, let's find out. <laughs> what two things are necessary for a rainbow to appear? Two things for a rainbow to appear are rain. Rain. And... Uh, Moisture. And moisture. That's correct. You got the rain and the moisture. There you go. That's a wrong answer. You both had Reese. She did miss that question. That's not correct. For the correct answer, I'm going to let you hear what Monique said. What two things are necessary for a rainbow to appear? For a rainbow to appear? Sunny skies and rain. Sunny skies and rain? Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Monique knew that. Sunlight and rain, guys. All right, let's recap the scores at the end of round one. Hillary, you got 100 bucks. Yeah. Marshall, you got 100 bucks, buddy. Yeah. All right. Hang tight. Our players will try to figure out who blew it when we return. <laughs> who wrote Christopher Reeve's autobiography? His wife. His wife wrote his autobiography. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts. It's time to meet our players. We have Hillary here. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> Now, Hillary, you kind of left your mark in a photo booth at one time. What happened there? Well, I was on a date with my boyfriend at the time, uh -huh. and we got to laughing in the photo booth, and I totally started peeing my pants. <laughs> and I couldn't stop, and the more I was laughing, the more I was peeing. So we leave, and he's like, it smells like cat pee, Hill. And yeah. I'm like, yeah, I peed yeah. my pants. Oh, very nice. Well, thanks for being here. And we'll check the chair after you leave. Now, Marshall, Marshall, your favorite movie is a movie I like, too, a lot. Tell us your favorite movie. Well, my all-time favorite movie is Xanadu, who starred Olivia Newton-John and Gene Kelly, has yeah. 90 voices nostalgia, great Music, roller disco finesse, spirituality, and best of all, it has a living and no Sorry, yeah. concert six times yeah. this year! Yeah. 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 All right, the bell's, the, sound, the bell's about to sound for round two of this dogfight, a round we like to call Who Blew It? Yeah. This time we ask the same question, only two of our Boulevard Brainiacs, one answered right, one answered wrong. Each time Hillary or Marshall correctly identifies which scholar flubbed the question, they each get, they, they get 200 bucks. Yeah. All right, and in this round, you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap sitting in front of you. Here's how it works. When you hear a question you think your opponent doesn't have the brain cells to answer, <laughs> bop that buzzer on your chair and dunce them. If they cannot answer the question, you get $200. And remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so don't be a dummy. Here's the first question, guys. I asked to both Tracy and Tari, what is the first holiday of the year? Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Tracy or Ree could not answer that question? Go ahead, guys, start rolling and let me know what you think. $100 each here in round two. Okay, you're locked in. Looks like you both went with the same response. You both went with Tracy. Marshall, you think Tracy blew this? Yeah, he's not really hip on the calendar, in my opinion. Right, okay, all right, let's take a look. Tracy, what is the first holiday of the year? Uh, Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> if we're gonna go the real American way, it would be Christmas, wouldn't it? Right. Well, actually, start December, go around. Right. Oh, you wanna start American style that they started now, traditionally, be January, which would be what, Martin Luther King Day? Or what would it be? <laughs> you guys both had Tracy, he blew it. 200 bucks for each of you, nice job, guys. Uh, the correct answer is New Year's Day. All right. Okay, guys, here's the next question I asked to Ree and to Monique. Name one of the ships that Christopher Columbus sailed to America in. Oh, yeah. Who blew it, guys? What do you think, Ree or Monique? Oh, wow, Hillary Monique. was quick on that. Yeah. Okay, you guys are locked in. Hillary, you think Monique, huh? Yeah, she's not so sure on the whole school thing where she's going. Yeah, I okay. don't think she knows. Let's see if we can get you 200 bucks. Name one of the ships that Christopher Columbus sailed to America in. Titanic? The Titanic? <laughs> but it went down, sadly, before he reached here. Oh, so that wasn't him. <laughs> She blew it. Way to go, Hillary. That's $200 more dollars for you. Takes you up to $500. All right, now for the correct answer. Marshall, I'm sorry. It looks like Reese the one who got it right. Name one of the ships that Christopher Columbus sailed to America in. The Pena and the Santa Maria. <laughs> Which one you want? Oh, you got a little excited there, didn't you? <laughs> the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. I'm sorry, Marshall. She got that one right. Don't worry. We still got to... So it's a close game, 500 to 300. Here's the last question of the who blew it round, guys. I asked all three, I asked Tracy, I'm sorry, Tracy and Monique, I asked Tracy and Monique, what group's members were John, Paul, George, and Ringo? Who blew it? What do you think, Tracy or, or Monique blew this one, guys? What do you think? All right, and Hillary's almost ready. 
Okay, you both are locked in. You both think Tracy. Hillary, you think Tracy blew? Yeah, I'm thinking Tracy's not hip on the whole music thing. Then, I don't think he's gonna know. Right, Marshall, you don't think he knows either. Hmm. He doesn't know his mercy beat. Okay, <laughs> all right, fine. All right, let's check it out. What group's members were John, Paul, George, and Ringo? The Beatles. The Beatles, right? Do you like the Beatles? Give me your favorite Beatles song. Uh, I can't remember. Right. Great Chops. Name one! <laughs> I think mine is Help, actually, right now. <laughs> you both had Tracy. I'm sorry, guys, you got it right. The Beatles is the correct answer for a wrong answer. Let's see what Monique said. What group's members were John, Paul, George, and Ringo? Those people from the... YMCA, the villagers. The village people, do you mean? The, yeah. There you go, that was them. Yeah. John, Paul, George, and Ringo. The village people. Yeah. Everyone loved them. YMCA. Right. <laughs> Help. Yeah. Help is right, I can't believe anyone would know that. All right, guys, uh, let's recap our scores. Marshall, you got $300 after two rounds, nice job. But Hillary, you got $500, she's got the slight lead. All right, we'll find out. We'll find out who our players choose to horse around with when we return. <laughs> Welcome back. Win Placer Show. It's time to pick your pony. This time, Hillary and Marshall will each choose one of the three scholars for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is worth 300 bucks now. And to keep things interesting, we're gonna leave the dunce cap in this round, only at this time it's worth 300 bucks. Now remember, there's only one dunce remaining in the game. Okay, the player who's trailing chooses first. That's uh, you, Marshall. You. So who would you like to put your money on, buddy? Tracy. You're gonna go with Big Tracy, all right. Hillary, how about you? I'm gonna go with Monique! You're gonna go with Monique? Yeah. Oh my God, all right. Marshall, here's the first question I asked to Tracy. Finish the old saying, men seldom make passes at girls who... Oh my God, you've been dunced! Marshall, $300 on the line. If you answer it right, the money's yours. If you answer it wrong, she gets the money. I'm gonna read the question again. You got five seconds. Finish the old saying, men seldom make passes at girls who... Fail classes. <laughs> Fail classes, did you say? Yes. That's a wrong answer. I'm sorry, Marshall. She does, she, she gets the 300 bucks. Nice job, Hillary. You got 800 bucks now. All right, Marshall, the question is to Tracy. Do you think he got it right or wrong? He got it. Wrong. He got it wrong? All right, let's take a look. Tracy, finish the old saying. Men seldom make passes at girls who... Have kids. Have kids. <laughs> That's a wrong answer, Marshall. Way to go. You got it. You can make it right. Another 300 dollars for you. The correct answer is uh, wear glasses. <laughs> and a girl with glasses laughs. All right, okay. All right, Hillary, here's a question uh, to Monique. Who's famous for living in a garbage can on Sesame Street? So, do you think Monique got it right or wrong, Hillary? You got a nice little lead working here. Yeah, I'm gonna think. Mm, right or wrong? I'm what do you think? I'm feeling wrong because I don't think she had a good childhood. You're I don't feeling think she wrong? had TV. Right, let's find out. <laughs> Who's famous for living in a garbage can on Sesame Street? Oh, the blue guy. Which blue guy? Cookie. No, Cookie. Cookie? Cookie Co Monster. The cookie Monster? <laughs> cookie Monster. He lives in the garbage can? <laughs> yeah. Okay. He don't eat cookies, though. Well, uh, what do you mean? They call him the Cookie Monster. I never seen him eat cookies. <laughs> She got it wrong, like you said she would, Hillary. Nice, you got a correct prediction. Another $300 for you. Takes you up to $1,100, Mail, Marshall, you have like $600, shopping, doing all right? Shopping, Oscar shopping. the Grouch. <laughs> Oscar the Grouch. All right, Marshall, here's the next question to Tracy for you, buddy. Who's John Hancock was biggest on the Declaration of Independence? Do you think Tracy got that right or wrong, Marshall? You're trailing wrong. here? You think he got it wrong, huh? Yes. All right, you need this 300 bucks. Let's take a look. Yeah, tell me. Tracy, who's John Hancock was biggest on the Declaration of Independence? Thomas's. Thomas's. Who's Thomas's? <laughs> Thomas's, I think, is the answer. He got it wrong, Marshall. That's a correct prediction. Nice job, buddy. You're up to $900. Uh, the biggest John Hancock was John Hancock. Yeah. John Hancock. Uh. You knew that, right, guys? All right, okay. All right, here's the second question to Monique for you, Hillary. I showed me Monique this card, and I asked her, can you use this word in a sentence? 
Do you think she was able to do that, right or wrong? What do you think? You got a little lead working here, Hillary. Um, okay, sphere in a sentence. She right, let me know. What do you think? Um, Stop doing the Grateful Dead dance and let me know. Oh, okay, all right. I'm thinking. <laughs> oh. No. She got it wrong. Got it. Right, let's find out. <laughs> Monique, can you use this word in a sentence? Uh, spear. Use that in a sentence. I like to spear people like Goldberg when I'm wrestling. Oh, you're a big wrestling fan? Yeah, Do man. Do you like The Rock? You smell what The Rock is cooking? <laughs> you know what I mean? right, can you get your eyebrow up? I uh, no. Not bad. <laughs> it doesn't matter that you can't get your eyebrow up. <laughs> she got it wrong, just like you said she would, Hillary. Another three hundred dollars for you. The correct answer, uh, the correct answer was uh, it would be spear. All right, Marshall. Here's the next uh, question for you in this round of Tracy. How many musicians are in a trio? You think he got that right or wrong? What do you think, Big Marshall? Come on now. He got that one wrong. You think it was wrong? Let's find out. How many musicians are in a trio? Uh, one, two, three, oh. three. Three's in a trio. <laughs> Give me a famous trio. Millie Vanilli. They were two. Girl, you know it's true. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He knew it was three. Sorry, buddy. All right, Hillary, here's the last question of the round. To Monique, what body part distinguishes vertebrates from invertebrates? Okay, there's only one dunce per round. Okay, uh, that's okay. That's okay, don't worry. Hillary, what do you think? She got it she's, she's not she knowing that at all. Right, let's no, find no, no, out. No, 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 no. What body part distinguishes vertebrates from invertebrates? Back part? The back part? Is that just spine? That, the spine. <laughs> she got that right. That is the correct answer. I'm sorry, Hillary. She didn't get it wrong. Sorry about that. Uh, bad folder, spinal calm. All right, let's recap the scores. Big Marshall, I, I'm, you're so big I can't see by you. 900 bucks. You got 900. Hillary slightly $1,400. That's a good game here. When we return, Hillary and Marshall will be making a final prediction on a question I asked Tracy, Ree, and Monique. The leads choose one of the savants, predict whether they'll get it right or wrong, and make their last wager. Here's the question I asked all three. Arnold Schwarzenegger has an accent. What country is he from? Don't go anywhere because the only thing more frightening than Schwarzenegger with Roy Rage is... The Wager of Death. I'll be back. Wheel in the gurney, someone's going down in our final round, the wager of death. Hillary and Marshall, here's the scoop. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Recap the scores, Marshall, big Marshall, 900 bucks. Hillary, 1,400 bucks. Now remember, only the winner will be walking away with any moolah, which means it all rides on this next question. And here's the question I asked all three. Arnold Schwarzenegger has an accent. What country is he from? Okay, Marshall, you're trailing right now, but you can still win this thing. Whose clip do you want to see? Okay, you want to see Tracy? Hillary, how about you? I want to see. You want to see Monique? All right, nobody picked Ree, so we're going to say bye to Ree. Now, Marshall, this is the big clip here for Tracy. Let's check it out. Arnold Schwarzenegger has an accent. What country is he from? Austrian. So he's from what country? I can't even pronounce it. Austria. Austria, there you go. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, Austria. Tracy said Austria. That's a right answer. Marshall, you had Tracy. What'd you say he'd do, right or wrong? You said wrong. Oh, no. How much did you wager your 900 bucks, Marshall? What's that going to take you down to? Oh, we went for it all. It's zero. All right, Marshall, don't worry. We'll see what happens here with Hillary. All right, Hillary, you had Monique's clip. Let's take a look. Arnold Schwarzenegger has an accent. What country is he from? Oh, he's from that. That, that weird one? The weird one? Like, um, Aus Austria. Austria. <laughs> That's right. Can you do an, an Arnold impression? Does it sound like Arnold? I'll be back. Very good. <laughs> From Austria. Very nice. She said Austria also. That's a right answer. Now, Hillary, you had Monique. Everything rides on this. If you said right or wrong, we want to give some money away. What'd you say? You said she would get it. You said wrong. All right, unless you wagered at all, you're going to walk away with something. How much did you wager? Your $1,400. She wagered. $500. She's still got 900 bucks. She wins for the day. $900 to Hillary. Marshall, thanks for playing. You're one of our favorites, buddy. You guys are both awesome. We'll see you later. I don't like it. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger has an accent. Yeah. What country is he from? Uh, Sweden. He's from Sweden. Yes. That's right. Arnold Schwarzenegger. 
Arnold Schwarzenegger is from Sweden.